It's true. Everything that makes you happy is going to end at some point, and nothing good ends well. It's like if you buy a puppy, you're bringing it home to your family saying, hey, look, everyone, we're all going to cry soon. Look at the, what I brought home. I brought home us crying in a few years. Here we go. Count down to sorrow with a puppy. I remember I had a dog when I was a kid and we had to put him to sleep because he had a, a tumor on his snout. And I remember I was home when the vet called and said, yeah, that's a malignant tumor to, uh, that he's got to go. And I was like, well, can we fix it? And he goes, I'd have, to, I'd have to just remove his whole snout. And then he'll just have this weird, round, furry head that doesn't look like a dog. And it will ha you'll ha he can only eat with a straw, but you can't teach a dog to suck through a straw. So he'll just die of being stupid and having a round head. So I think you should just kill him. That's what I recommend. And I was like, okay, well, should we make an appointment for a few weeks? From and they, I swear to God, the guy goes, no, just bring him over. I'm not doing anything. I'll kill him right now. Like, just bring him over now. Why wait? I'm not, I'm, I'm not busy. So I bring the dog to the vet's. And I remember I'm holding the dog and he sticks him full of a crazy amount of morphine or the right amount if you're trying to kill a dog with it. And my dog dies. And then I left him there because, I mean, it was arranged. I didn't like sneak out and leave my dog. We had no money. So I left my, and I asked the vet, I made the mistake of asking the vet, what are you going to do with my dog? And he said, uh, he just goes in a mass grave. And I was like, what's that like? And he goes, it's just a big pile of dead dogs. <laughs> so... That night, I remember, it was raining, and I had this nightmare that my dog woke up from the morphine and found himself in a pile of dead dogs and crawled out past the dead cat pile. And then he just walked, and it was thunder and lightning, and he you know, it was like one of those miraculous dogs that you read about in Reader's Digest, and he like, made his way home. And then he scratched on the door, and we opened the door, and there he is, and we go, there, he's here! Look, he's back! And then we realize we just gotta do it again. Gotta take it back. <laughs> gotta do it again. Still got a tumor on his snout. And the dog's like, are you shitting me right now? Can I spend the night? Jesus. <laughs> so that's why it's hard to start dating, you know. That's why it's